Hello guys, welcome back to Top Tech, and today we are going to be reviewing the iPhone XR. This is my personal phone, and I got it a few weeks ago. As you know, I've been using the iPhone 6S, so now I switch to the XR. And I've really been enjoying this device. It is so smooth. The three gigabytes of RAM, you'll feel it. Like when you swipe up, it's like automatic. And here's a tip for anybody who's still swiping up and waiting for the cards to appear. Swipe up and over to the right. So what I'm doing is swipe up and over, and that gets you to the cards much faster. Another trick that most people don't know is when you're at an app, you just slide across the bottom bar to get from app to app. It's another multitasking feature, and it's on by default. So another thing that's different this year is, of course, the bezel-less display. And it really looks good. It's an LCD. And another thing is when you ditch the home button, well, I already talked about swipe up, you also ditch the fingerprint unlock. So you get face ID. So this is how you set it up. It's very simple and easy. You hit get started. And you get yourself within the frame, and then you rotate your head, and now we'll do it again. Just around the circle, second face ID scan complete. So you can also set up two faces, which I do if you hit set up an alternate appearance. It works much faster if you just set up your face twice. So you can pretty much just set up two faces. Like with Touch ID, you could set up five fingers. So that is Face ID and it's pretty fast, so watch. There's like no delay when I turn on my phone. It just swipe up and gets started. Another new feature this year is when in um, Notes app, instead of when you lock a note, instead of having to use Touch ID, Face ID and you're in. So that's another cool feature. So one more thing I do want to mention to you guys is when using Apple Pay. So Apple Pay, as you know, has turned into the form of a credit card. And now when you authenticate, you do use Face ID. And on the iPhone XR, it has gotten significantly faster. Apple Pay, just holding it near the reader, got faster. The payment process got faster and stuff like that. Another thing I noticed is when opening the watch app, and this is specific to the iPhone XR, there are actually some new toggles down here. I don't know why, but there just are. So that is about, oh, one more thing I wanted to show you was the speakers on this guy. They're pretty good. Listen. I mean, they're obviously not high quality but they're they get the job done so that's about it guys thank you for watching and hope you guys enjoyed it the iphone 10r is an incredible device if you're thinking about buying it go all for it so that is it guys peace out